Well, it's Monday, and I'm at a complete loss of what I'm going to do. I'm just going to start uh, to play with the clay and see where I get. I don't know what I'm going to do. Anyway, I'll carry on. Be right back. <laughs> Time to play with some clay. Now I'm going to be sculpting with this monster clay. And monster clay is very expensive, so I'm going to use aluminum foil as a filler so I don't have to use as much monster clay as I would normally use uh, I don't know how this is going to work but uh, everything's an adventure when you're sculpting anyway and uh, I'll just do the best I can the one thing I've learned over the years Sometimes you just go in with a closed eyes and stiff upper lip. And I hope for the best. All right, I'm going to put the first bit of clay on. I gotta tell you, I'm not feeling too hot today. It could be the temperature. I don't, I don't know. My creativity doesn't seem to be here, though. But who knows? I might wake it up. You never know. I don't like that head armature. I'm going to have to make another one. The wire I'm using is bonsai wire. You can get it on Amazon. It's what they use to uh, form bonsai tree limbs. And, uh, it works good as an armature material, too. It's aluminum with an anodized copper look to it. Anyway, let me get my uh, pliers here and form the head. I think it's because I ate lunch and I don't normally eat lunch.
at some point I gotta need I'm gonna need to decide what the heck I'm gonna do. Now is a start. Well, I guess you can tell it's going to be a human. <laughs> and, uh, I just got to figure out what I'm going to do. I had it kind of in my mind what I was going to do, but those things change. I'm going to build up the uh, brain pan first. And uh, and start bringing in the rest of it. I won't be able to do much today on this. I'm just going to form up uh, everything. And tomorrow, when the uh, clay is kind of stiffened up a little bit, I'll probably be able to do a little bit, little bit more. There's a Comanche that uh, I was thinking about, not Comanche, uh, a Cheyenne. I think it's Cheyenne. Anyway, his name's Wooden Leg. And he participated in the uh, Little Bighorn battle. Had a real interesting face, and uh, I was thinking of doing him. I'd like to do somebody of history, somebody that uh, people could relate to from history, uh, because I think people like historic figures more than made-up figures. But I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do yet. I like his name, Wooden Leg. <laughs> it kind of conjures up in your mind why he was, how he got that name. I'm using a, this board to kind of shape the clay a little bit. Sometimes it works good for shaping. Just using little padding type uh, movements.
You know, when you think about the Western history of the United States, it all happened not that long ago. When I was a kid, there were people alive that had been living during the fur trapping period back in the 1840s. Because you figure there had to be at least somebody a hundred years old at that time when I was born in 18, 1945, not 1845. And that would mean that somebody could possibly have been alive that uh, was a, alive during the high times of the uh, fur trapping period. And long before the West was settled, our history is not that old. And uh, when you think of things that way, it makes you pause and think about how quickly time goes by. I know I worked with a, a gentleman at a printing plant I worked at in Salt Lake City. I worked in a printing plant for about 10 years. And uh, he was born in 1876, the year that Custer was killed in the Battle of Little Bighorn. Just think about that. That's formed. I think that's about all I can do today because this stuff is really soft and it won't be workable until it at least stiffens up a little bit. So I'll pick this up tomorrow. I know it's not much, but it's a start. And maybe I'll figure out what I'm going to do by tomorrow. All right, everybody. Have a great night and I'll uh, see you all next time. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video. It will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.